After World War I, the Treaty of Versailles restricted Germany from building submarines and airplanes. This also only allowed them the use of six battleships and band conscription. Eventually a loophole was found in the Versailles Treaty which enabled them to create the ME-163 Comet. The treaty did not restrict the ability to create sailplanes or rockets. Throughout the 1920s Alexander Lipisch perfected his tailless Delta wing gliders, which led to the ME-163A. The ME-163A was part rocket and part glider allowing it to be produced under the treaty. The control surfaces were put rearwards, so it would fly through the air just like a dart. The Comet had a free-spinning tail wheel, and used a two-wheel dolly which was fitted to the fuselage for takeoff. After takeoff the Comet would drop the dolly to reduce weight and fly more efficiently. Still the Comet was rocket-powered, and only had enough fuel for 8 minutes of flight time. Fuel had to be used in bursts, and after all the fuel was gone it could only glide, but it could glide faster than the top speed of most Allied fighters. In an operational sense the Comet was deemed a failure due to fuel shortages and poor performance. 